ran over to Reddit to see what was going on on their debate and atheist subreddit, and I came across what I thought was an interesting idea. Someone had posted that atheists should come out and compete in a free marketplace of ideas against religion, which honestly would be a good idea if there was actually a free marketplace of ideas where religion and other irrational beliefs are concerned. So let's see what was actually said and why things simply don't work that way. So the Redditor, who goes by the name A Unicornist, says the following. Like the title says, atheists should come out in the open and present themselves and compete in the marketplace of ideas. As a liberal and open-minded Christian, yep, sure you are, I have always been curious about the other side of the argument. The problem, though, is that the debate has gone on and on without any clear resolution. One of the main reasons for this is that there is no open platform for this discussion. Sure, there are occasional debates in the academia here and there, but largely all religion debate, and I'm just reading as it says, but largely all religion debate takes place in the confines of the internet. Atheists are even reluctant to admit it in the open. I say the best way to finally resolve the issue is for atheists to bring their position to the public instead of lurking on internet forums anonymously ambushing and bagging on theists. Atheists can easily pick on theists, they identify themselves and are loud and visible. Theists, on the other hand, have to go to the dark recesses of the internet to even find atheists. Even as a Christian, I won't totally say that Christianity or theism will have the final word on this, but I think a systematic and open public discussion with atheists, bringing their ideas out in the public, will be a good step. Open and honest competition of ideas will sift the good ones from the bad, the truth from the lies. In summary, I say it's time to come out atheists and engage in the fair marketplace of ideas where you will be heard and have a platform to compete with other ideas. Now, that's a curious idea because it makes sense on the surface. However, when it comes to the religious beliefs of most theists, they simply do not treat all ideas equally. They believe on emotional grounds, and anything that doesn't make them feel good will be rejected out of hand. That means that anything that challenges their indoctrinated religious faith stands no chance at all of being fairly evaluated in the free market of ideas. A Unicornist goes on to say that the debate between religion and atheism has gone on and on and on without any clear resolution, nor will there be as long as the religious refuse to act in a rational and evidence-based manner. It isn't that we don't have an open forum for debate, we certainly do, both online and off. But whenever these debates take place, it's the religious that are clearly being irrational and biased towards their emotionally derived blind faith. There are plenty of religious debates on YouTube that you can watch where you will see this plain as day. Start off with the debate between Ken Ham and Bill Nye, where Bill says it will take evidence to convince him that Christianity is true, but Ken says nothing, absolutely nothing, will ever conceivably convince him that Christianity is false. This is not at all uncommon among the religious fanatics who are so emotionally invested and attached to their beliefs that they're incapable of stepping back from them. It certainly isn't that atheists are hiding on the internet, and certainly not that atheists are ambushing the religious or anything ridiculous like that. We are open to debate by and large, but when it comes to emotionally held beliefs, there's simply no debate to be had. The religious can't look at their religion and evaluate it as they would anything else in the real world. They cling desperately to the things they believe, and anything that doesn't fall on their side of the religious divide gets rejected out of hand and declared the work of the devil or some other absurd nonsense. We've tried. We've tried for decades to debate religion on a rational basis, and it never ever works out well. In order for there to be a fair and open public discourse, the public has to be open to evaluating all of the presented positions equally. 
And we all know that simply doesn't happen for religion. There is a blind assertion by the religious that religion is something special, yet they simply cannot demonstrate that such a claim is factually true. I wish they could, but we all know they can't. That's why religious apologetics is so terrible across the board. It's why the religious have absolutely no objectively demonstrable evidence to present to support their claims. Religion, whether the religious like it or not, is a joke. And that's really not meant to be an insult, but religion inherently operates irrationally. It is really no better than a conspiracy theory. It doesn't follow logical rules, it doesn't follow evidence to conclusions, and it doesn't really care what's true, only what feels good. So long as it's based on feels over reals, there can't be any kind of intellectual debate between the sides. This is really where religious debate breaks down as far as I'm concerned. Even if both sides enter the discussion honestly, they ultimately speak past each other because one side is speaking of facts and the other side is speaking of feelings. There will never be anything productive accomplished. And that's really why I don't make videos for the religious, because we're fundamentally speaking two completely different languages with no possibility of translating in between. They cannot understand the mind of the skeptic, and I, while I can certainly understand why they believe what they do, having once been one of them, I cannot accept their mental gymnastics are rationally or intellectually valid. The religious, at least the religious who are incapable of questioning their own beliefs, will never be swayed by the skeptic, and the skeptic will never be swayed by the emotional and irrational belief of the believer. And since the believer is incapable of looking at the world through skeptical eyes, anything the skeptic says will fall on deaf ears. Not because the skeptic doesn't have valid and worthwhile things to say, but because the theist inherently rejects anything that falls outside their emotionally comforting beliefs. It's the same way that flat earthers simply reject science, rationality, and evidence out of hand because it goes against what they are fanatically dedicated to believe. So, really... Why bother? I mean, ultimately, I think we have to because I think religion is fundamentally harmful to society, but we can't change that by appealing to the rationality of the believer. We have to find other ways. So, that's my thoughts on this particular question, but what are yours? Let me know in the comments. I honestly wish it was possible to have a worthwhile debate or discussion with the religious, but thousands upon thousands of encounters over the years have led me to believe that it's rarely, if ever, possible. And that has nothing at all to do with the skeptics. It's all the fault of the believers who aren't concerned with real life. They just want their emotional fantasies. And as I said, it isn't just the religious. Lots of woomongers are every bit as bad. They want things to be a certain way so they believe with all their hearts and ignore all the evidence against them because feelings! Nothing more than feelings! That's all they care about. And that's irrational. <laughs>